Hello and thanks for watching as always. Um, this is going to continue the series on Community Builder and in this tutorial we are going to answer the question how would I change what fields show on the front end? So more specifically the question is how would I change what these fields are or add them or add to these fields? Um, like I mentioned in another video, name, email, username, password, and verified password, these are all fields that come with the core of Joomla and that is basically what the core of Community Builder uh, gives you right out of the box. So now we want to use its um, features and the what, you know what it was built for to add to this registration form so we can collect more information from our users. So to do that, um, it, assuming you're in your back end of your Joomla platform, you would go to Components go over to Community Builder and of course again I'm assuming it's everything's installed and I've got other videos on that and the area that you're going to want to visit is Field Management and let's first of all make sense of this mess right here because if you look at it it's pretty daunting it looks like a Christmas tree we got red X's check marks uh, first pay attention to the columns here and just just take a while to get uh, comfortable with what you're looking at First, you got the name. What is the name of the field? Okay, uh, so clearly on the front end here, it's asking us what are these names? What are these field names? Well, this name is is name. The name of this field is email. The name of this field is username, and so on. And so that's what this column is addressing here: the name, uh, the title of it. You know, what are we calling this? Uh, even though this is called the email field, maybe this says user email or member email. Maybe the title of the field is different than what we actually call the field. So understand that the name corresponds to the space and the field, or I'm sorry, the title corresponds to the text out to the left of the space. Um, over here you have type and um, you're going to see where this comes into play when we create a new field. It goes into different types of data, meaning what type of field or we, is this going to be? Well, this is an email field, so obviously the validation behind that is going to look for that ampersand sign, it's going to look for a .com or a .net or something. Um, username and password, that's going to be validated probably to allow almost anything uh, because you, you, know, you want passwords to be pretty diverse. Name, you're probably just going to limit that to text, and that's where the type comes into play, the type column the tab. Now we're going to get into this and get into this further when we talk about tab ma management but right now just understand that a tab is an area on the profile layout and that's the best way to say it and then in each area or tab you can have different information. So as you can see user status there's quite a few pieces of information that show up under this area of the profile required. It's, these are question marks. It's asking you, is this field required when the user fills out this form? And these icons up here, this orange thing, this icon, this icon, this information icon, this will let them know if the field is required or not. It will give them information about it. It will let them know if it's going to be visible on the front end. So that's an important thing you want to ask yourself is when you're creating a field, like let's say phone number, if you say it's required, then that means that the user won't be able to fill out the form unless they give you your phone number. So that's what this required question is asking you. Um, is this piece of information mandatory? Obviously, things like the name, the username, and the password almost have to be mandatory, um, and you want to leave them that way because that's what helps the platform work. Uh, profile. This is asking, you know, once they register, okay, there's certain information that maybe you don't want the world to see or maybe you don't even want it to show up on their profile. So quite obviously their username and password are two things you don't want to have show on their profile, so that's why the red X's are here. Um, registration, question mark. This is basically asking, does this field, okay, and this is what applies to this form here, is that column is asking does that field show up in this area so this column is very important and is going to directly relate to what shows up 
as a field to have information inputted by the user. Uh, searchable, yes or no. This is going to come down to uh, some other advanced features, but you know, ask yourself, is this a piece of information that you want to be searchable? A uh, real common example of this would be maybe if you had a field in there for city and state or for zip codes. Um, maybe you would want the zip code to be a searchable item so that users could find other users in the you know same zip code, for example. So that's what that uh, column is addressing the question of. Published or not? Um, like everything else in Joomla, you got the great option with the click of a button to either activate or deactivate it. So if you're not really sure whether you should keep it or not, you don't have to delete it. You can just uh, unpublish it. And of course, you've got an order button here, and you've got order uh, tabs over here, which you can type in the numbers and the sequence you want, and then click that little disk option right here, which will save them in that order. Um, and so that's under it, it's uh, important to understand what each column is for. So that way, when you look at each field, okay, on the side here, you can go across and just learn all about it, what it's going to do. Uh, so, for example, the name, okay, uh, that shows up right here, and that's uh, right here. And let's just kind of learn about what this is telling us. The name, that's the title of it, right? or I'm sorry, the name of it is name in this example. The title of it, how it shows up, is capital M N A M E, capital name. Type predefined, that means that came with Community Builder, okay? Um, the tab, this is not going to relate to this. It's not going to relate to this area or how it affects or functions. This is going to get important when we talk about our tab manager, and this is basically telling what, what area of that user profile this piece of information is going to show. Is it required? Yes, it is required. Is it going to be on their profile? Right now that's set to no. Is it part of registration? Yes, it is. It's got a green check and that is why it shows up here. Next question, is it searchable? Yes. So if you have a large community site and you think you know the name of a friend on it, you can try to search by name and it will deliver the results that have the same name. Is it published? Yes. Um, because it's checkmarked yes, that is also why it shows here. And then of course you've got the order which right now we're really not going to worry about because uh, this is pretty much how it comes out of the box and you can build off this, this platform here pretty good. So that's going to conclude this video about the field management and the next one here I'm going to actually add a field and go over what that entails, how to validate it, all the different options we have there, and then hopefully from that you'll be able to see that you can add as many fields as you want and collect almost an unlimited amount of information from any user. So um, that concludes this tutorial and I will see you on the next one.